Hello everybody and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic 2, Go Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. The, the couple adjectives in there that I, I usually end up missing. So we spent our first episode just kind of doing the opening mission for the Imperium campaign and now we are heading into the ba Battle of the Binary Star System. And no, I'm not a fan of Star Trek STD. Uh, yeah, I think all we gotta do is launch a battle. Launch the battle, hell yeah. Alright, so we got we got some tool tips in the wait, there we go. Okay, so we've got a uh, a fleet power of 306, they've got 143. The 10th Iron Warriors, I think that's what that's supposed to say. And yeah, we're just uh nothing else to do other than I mean, yeah, that's that's it. This is my side versus their side. Let's do it! Oh, God! 10,000 years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus heresy. 10 millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal damnation and tore the galaxy asunder. Horus Lupercal may be dead, his body ashes, and his memory the stuff of a cursed Luper legend. But the wounds he wrought, I always pronounce his name differently. In the hide of an Lupercal. Imperium. For the battle against chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the civil wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of Man. Twelve world-shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the Millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of traitors slips its moorings as Abaddon launches his 13th and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only valor will serve. Wasn't anticipating another cutscene. I've noticed that the voice actor tends to pronounce things differently than I have always in my head. Like, Horace Lupercal is the way I always said it to myself. I, I don't know if I, I could very well be wrong. I mean, I usually am. Uh, what's going on? Oh, that's my fleet. Okay, let's see. A lot of stuff. The system's very dirty. I have no idea what these sensor blips are. Why don't we start over on this side, though? Uh, there we go. Are you facing the wrong direction? Oh, yeah, not now he's facing the right direction. Uh, I'm gonna put you over on this side. And this little doodle, little doohickey, he's gonna be way over here. There are many ways to win a battle. By fire or cunning, we shall prevail in the Emperor's name. Okay. Uh, Annihilation vi victory. Once no enemy ship is remaining in the battlefield, victory is achieved. Strategic victory. Uh, at the beginning of each battle, a victory point score is determined. Okay. Or destruction. When a ship is destroyed, the opposing camp gains as many victory points as its value. When a ship leaves the battlefield, the opposing camp gains as many. Okay. So, they're... I think this is basically a victory point kind of thing. Oh, yeah, and they actually, they got one up here, so they started off on... To serve oh! The no, our duty is to annihilate enemies of the Imperium. It may sometimes be in our interest to obtain victory without engaging enemy vessels. Can, it's... Stop! Capturing strategic positions might well force the enemy's withdrawal. Ship ready! I, I really wish it wouldn't zoom the screen around like that without, without me doing anything, because it really weird me out. Alright, right, so those are strategic positions we can capture. So I'll capture this one and then we'll start moving on. We, we know there's an enemy fleet out there. 
There's a cute little structure right here. The enemy has seized a strategic area. You have seized a strategic area. Yeah, so these two will head up and start dealing with that Trust while we capture this active. one. Yeah, there we go. We're capturing now. All right, so let's speed up while we go. Oh, we got it. We got a sensor bloop. All right, he's coming around this way. Hang on. So Your you're gonna go this way. You're gonna go this way. Engaging we're gonna drive. we're gonna flank him. I mean, you have seen it's like strategic area. Whatever we got here, it's like one, like light cruiser or something like that. So we should be able to get a machine spirit appeased. A a uh, a victory without too much issue. Are they getting? I'm getting two. They're getting one. Okay, so I'm outstripping them here. So you go hide behind your our friendo here. Course engaged. And you head up this way. Receiving your order. Oh wow, they have really opened fire at a distance there, haven't they? Enemy sighted. All right. We wait your command. Yeah, you fire it. You. You, I want you to engage at a distance. We are ready you, sir, are going to kind of like go around this way. Oh, auto engage. Underway. And now that we're in close, fire everything! Oh, beautiful, is it not? Oh, shoot. Your Thought I told you to engage that guy. Fire! Engaging target. We're gonna stay in real close here. I want to be right on his butt. Boarding action. State your order. Oh, he's got. He doesn't have a lot of troops left. Enemy Why are you not moving? There we go. I thought I, I thought I turned that on. We wait your command. Machine spirit well, you are way out of position now, so you catch up. Maximum burn. Are you going through the? He's going through the asteroid field. We are ready All right. To well, serve. no. Yeah, you do you, friend. You do you. To serve the oh, stop! Stop! stop. <laughs> Cruising speed there set. we go. <laughs> stop! 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 Receiving your order. Lightning strike! Alright, we actually, he's only got one doodle left here. Two troops lost. Ship ready. We might be able to uh, take him down that way. It's just a little, it's just like a light cruiser, it's not a big deal. Alright, put that on auto engage and make sure he's doing his thing. I'd like you to kind of stay at mid range. Your orders? Give them different ranges to engage at, so we're not wasting a lot of, uh... They're not bumping into each other, mostly. They definitely seem to like to go for the little guys first. Alright, we're gonna lightning strike this guy as soon as it's available. Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike! Not too bad, really. State your order! You have accumulated 25% of strategic Thank points. you for letting me know. Oh, he's on fire. Can we focus uh, fire on his... Can't focus fire on the engines? Try to take out the weaponry then. Oh, his engines are already damaged. Critical damage to the engines. He's not going anywhere fast. We serve. You know what that means? Heading acknowledged. If he's not going anywhere fast... We got tor we got torpedoes here to use. Wha! I love torpedoes. Three hits. Come here, friend. Okay, you you guys are set at different engagement ranges, aren't you? Or he's what is what is this? Is this one? Let me just stay at max. All right, stop. Open fire. And you're set at 4-5. Oh! Oh boy. That, that, that one did the trick. Oh, I really wish it wouldn't do this spinny maneuver here. That makes it nauseates me a little bit. Uh, okay, okay. Victory. 
nice. Game looks good. We'll give it that. The first victory is ours. Beep, beep, beep. Others will follow should we remain true to our duty. Battles leave scars. I must be mindful of my vessel's condition. The reclamation oh my God. of Demius Binary has taken our enemy by surprise. The Claustrum system is exposed. We shall push our advantage. If the fleet is to grow, we must have access to production facilities. If Claustrum falls to our forces, we shall have them. It's 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 popping up so much information on the side here that I'm not I didn't even get to read several of them before they just got pushed off. Alrighty. So, uh when a leader reaches experience level four, his fleet movement point increased by one. Offensive movement when a fleet is involved in a battle or seizes a neutral system, all remaining movement points are consumed. Damage ships are uh destroyed ships are lost for good. Damaged ones are repaired and have some of their lost troops replaced at the beginning of each turn if they are located within a system controlled by their faction. At the beginning of each turn, each of your ships located within a system under your control benefit the following effect. 10% hull point value repaired. 3% critically damaged systems are repaired fully. 3 lost troops replaced. Fast repair. You may spend resources to accelerate uh, the repair of your ships. To do so, select a fleet, then a ship. This will grant you access to fast repair option, among others. Resource and construction. Resource and construction points are most valuable as they necessary to construct new ships. Global income. I'm just going to call these Warhammer ducats. Or 40k ducats, or maybe we'll come up with something fancy. Alright, move Admiral uh, Maulun's fleet to the Claustin system to seize it. That is way down here, so that's going to be this one, right? Well, that's this one. Yeah, yeah, here he is. This is the uh, the actual space, space marine guy. Alright, so he, it's just his vanquisher. How many, uh, we got movement points that these troop regen, repair rate, escort ship limit, fleet value, fleet health, fleet power. It's got to say this somewhere. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Well, it says I wanted me to move him here. So that's. Oh, he's there. Okay. Uh, shipyards provide construction points that are necessary to build ships. Construction points apply. When a system is conquered, the shipyards do not provide construction points immediately. They need to replenish uh, turn after turn. Construction point regeneration. Shipyards get construction points each turn until they reach their maximum value. And we are going to take control of the Clauston system. Alright, so do we... Can we see... I want to say, I wanted to see the system information. Maybe I have to end the turn. Well, let me maybe, like, do things on my own until then. Our shipyards are ready to provide us some reinforcements. Time to see what the Adeptus Mechanicus have to offer our crew. Delightful! Select my fleet. Let's build a new ship. Demios Binary Ooh. Shipyard isn't capable of full production just yet. We'll use Clauston for now, and wait until Demios is capable of crafting larger vessels. Clauston shipyards are small, but can provide us with recon ships. These will be valuable assets for our operations. Big guns are nothing if not deployed with grand purpose. Okay, so it wants me to double-click to add a Firestorm escort ship. All is prepared. It is time to welcome a new vessel to the Emperor's service. Okay, it's all basic information. I guess we'll just confirm that. The reconquest of the Cadian Sector can now proceed. However, we cannot leave our holdings without defenses. We should at least deploy an orbital mine. Oh, I like that. How do we do that? Okay, so it costs 80 ducats. To build myself a minefield, defense platforms, or a space station. Okay, so we're gonna do a minefield. We have only just begun. War is replete with opportunity. As ground is seized, new objectives will arise. Let us proceed. We are the Emperor's fist. Let his foes tremble at our coming. 
All right, space stations, unlike minefields and defense platforms, they may be deployed in any system. Space stations can only be built within systems within a strategic point of interest. Okay. So we built a escort ship and we built a minefield this turn. And uh, I guess we're done now. And Chaos are building their own ships too. Ooh. Kind of like that noise, the little uh, the, like transit noise. Ooh. The systems we have reclaimed are developing Excellent. well. All right. Prosperous systems can only be a good thing for our cause. We will protect them. All right, so it wants me to upgrade. We, 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 we need to evolve. So what is this going to give me? It's not going to tell me? It seems like you're, uh, as you're like going through this kind of tutorial, it's uh, like, you're doing this, and we're not even gonna show you the UI unless you do what we say, so. I think we have to, we're probably gonna have to go through a little bit more before we're kind of, yeah. Like, hey, won't even let me cycle. Receiving communication from the Vox Relay. It is Lord High Admiral Drang. So the old man's still alive. I told you he was too tough to kill. Admiral Spire, I trust you stand ready for orders. Always. Good. Strategically and symbolically, the Cadian Sector is vital to our efforts. You will reclaim it, Admiral. The Emperor protects. Understood. The Emperor protects. All right. On direct orders from High, uh, for Lord High Admiral Drang, Admiral Spire must regain control over systems within the Cadian Sector that are currently held by Chaos forces. Uh, let's see. Capture the following system. Okay, so just capture all the systems, or at least those four. Co-op mode unlocked. You may now invite a friend to play the campaign in co-op mode. Necrons and Tyranid. Oh, okay. I think we're through the tutorial, the tutorial bits now, and we just have our, our mission to do. Ooh, I I like the I I I'm liking this. What I'm seeing right now. You could spend your 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 like your ducats on upgrading your cruisers and stuff. I like that. So now it will probably actually we can we can look around. All right, so we got a we're a forge world. Research station Mechanicus Enclave. Nice. Strategic position. A vital staging post for Battle Fleet Cadia throughout the 13th Black Crusade. The forge world of uh, Demios Binary boasted a fearsome array of relic weapons hidden beneath its metallic crust. When Demios came under direct assault by a traitor fleet, tech priests were able to rouse these ancient defenses, unleashing a storm of laser fire that tore out the foe's heart. Cool. All right, so we can we can just check every yeah we can go to everything now. Unsustainable world, hive world. So is Belazar hive world? The hive yes, this is the hive world. Okay, so this is is if we click on the star. Yeah, it's just kind of like information for the whole system, it looks like. Cool. All right. So. I don't think I particularly need defenses back here just yet because. Uh, is there like a way to zoom out? So those are my pending missions, my fleets, co-op play, just a, my menu. So wish there was a way to zoom out a little bit. All right, so the next thing on the list to do, well, this is this is Cadia. Oh man, look at all the. There's a lot of stuff in here. We have 441 space ducats. Fleet upkeep and production is dead on. All right, so. I don't think we'll be able to... I, I, I feel like we won't be able to go straight to Cadia. Like, maybe maybe working through the... The periphery might be a good idea. First? Is that minefield in place? We do. Minefields apply a one uh, delay of one turn for each enemy invasion or assault on the targeted system. What is this little notification? I'm getting a little notification here. Is it? Oh, I think that's telling me I can upgrade this. 
Okay, cool. I'm just trying to like, like fumble my way through the UI right now. Okay, point of interest, space structure, asteroid field. Asteroid fields orbit most stars at varying distances. They are generally thought to be debris fragments left over from collisions between planets during the formation of a star system. Asteroid fields may also be left over after the destruction of planet or moon. And right, it's one, one, or two construction points per turn to a maximum of two, two, uh, two, four, four. Archaeological site provides 200 resources when captured for the first turn. First time. Okay, so upgrading the the asteroid field doesn't seem like it'd be it'd be great right now because it would get me no extra construction points. It would get um her turn to a maximum of two four four. Repair rate up, increase repair rate of allied ships in the system. Well, I mean that might be a good idea. I don't know. I, I don't really feel like I should be doing that just yet though. All right, so this fleet is... Oh, what did I just do? Oh! Oh, cool! I was like, oh, God, what did I do? We're just, uh... We're just taking a look at the ship. Man, that is so sweet! Can't wait to unlock more stuff. Just trying to give it give it the old eyeball here. All right. So this is information about the ship. Oh, this gives me specifics about its weaponry. So those are the the missile launchers are up, are right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool, like a torpedo on a sub. So that's the macro battery, and that is the macro turret on the top there. There's no three dimension in the game, which is a little sad, but I understand why they didn't do it. Space games have always had a uh, a, a big issue generally doing three dimensional space combat. Bravery minus twenty five. Positive value reflects morale loss by a percentage equal to bravery score. Negative value increases morale loss by a percentage equal to the bravery score. Short, medium, long, very long. I think this is just whatever it feels like. Okay. New ship, repair all. Uh, well, this one's fine. It's not damaged. This one's damaged. So th I think this is like the rush repair here. Um, I think we could build maybe build another ship here though. We can definitely put in another another cruiser. So there's let's see we got a defiant we've got an endurance and we've got an endeavor. Got uh, light lance turret in a launch bay. Torpedo launcher lance battery and macro turrets same here. Is it is there any way to get more? This is all the stats. Ident uh, identification range. Looks like they're all the same kind of like hull with slightly different. Um, like weapon arrangements. This one is like a launch craft. This one has the torpedoes. I don't know what the difference is between these two. Honestly, I'm not seeing any difference. But here's something. Lance battery weapons. And that one's got macro. Okay. I, I'm actually going to build this one. And go ahead and confirm that. Oh, that's... Yeah, there we go. Look at that guy. Is it... Oh, no, no, no. This is the... That, that's the little baby one. This is the new one I just built. Yeah, look at those things. Those are cool looking. I'm just gazing at the models going, yeah. <laughs> and it's got torpedoes too, right? Yep, torpedo turrets. Well, okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, how do we go back? Back to sector view. Okay, so... Yeah, look at that. This fleet's much, much more powerful now. What I'm thinking of doing is we take one of these fleets... All right, here, why don't we leave... Maybe leave this this larger fleet behind to guard the Demios binary system. And maybe we can see which systems are the ones we need to capture. What's in this system? Agro world. Reduces the cost of evolution steps of all controlled worlds by one, two, and three. I mean it'd be it, it's on there's nobody there right now. Here, why don't we do this? There we go. 
And you, sir. Can we get another? Is, is there a fleet? Is there like a cap to what we can put on here? It's nice that we have two, uh, two like little ships of the line in here. I think we're just going to do that. Take control of this system down here. Survivors emerge from the ruins of Cadia looking for a way to avenge their kin. They offer their lives and everything they saved as a war effort to the Imperium. Receive 100 resources for 10 turns. So that's a total of uh, uh, an extra thousand. What I just got there. That's pretty sweet. The only, part, the only thing I, uh, that worries me is the uh, str spreading out my fleets. Although we're going to have an extra thousand space ducats to work with. So I'm happy about that. All right. I don't think we can actually utilize this system until it is... I'm actually going to build a minefield here. Uh, and can I build... Can I get a new another ship in here? No, I think we're out of... Basically out of, like, construction doodles for the day. Yeah, because uh, Demio's binary about that, so built that so we could build another escort ship, but I think for now we're just going to end the turn and see what happens. My first turn under my own control. <laughs> Basically meandering around trying to figure out what I'm doing. All right, so now I can uh, take a look at this system. Oh, here we go. I was like, why am I not seeing anything? Oh, we got to go to here. War, when the... Uh, Bow wave of the 13th Black Crusade struck. Oh, bow wave. So it'd be like the front. The, the front of it. Um, Halotas crumpled in a little under three days. Aside from a garbled um, astropathic message, there was no uh, indication of the world's fate. Only that a dire fate had befallen. Upon arrival, Imperial reinforcements discovered cackling madmen roaming blazing fields and the towering um, archaeologies. Uh, suffused with cruel demonic light. That is a little unfortunate for us. So upgrading this would basically make our evolutions of other systems cheaper. Uh, this is a mining world and a minor shipyard. I think we will evolve this one. Resource generation increase and construction points. Definitely going to do that one. This is That's an important one. And, okay, so this one I'm not so sure I want to spend the resources on just now. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me. All right, and my initial, my initial thought is to secure the backfield, basically, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, hit this system, then this one, and then this one, because we got three chaos fleets behind us there. Hmm. I just noticed this one's got a little... This fleet's got a little... Is that my... Yeah, I was going to say, what is this little symbol? That means it's my, 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 my flagship there. Okay, I think what we're... What is... Open the Renown panel. Our reward obtained, nine turns. Okay, that's going for nine more turns. Ship tonnage available. Okay, so there is like a, a maximum number I could have here. And this these ones I these are the base ones I have for all ships, I think. Or or maybe not. Are we piercing ammunition? Because of the, oh maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We we need we definitely need more renown before we're going to be doing anything though. But we're at about time on this, so I think what we'll do is having actually done a turn on my own and kind of figured out what we're doing. We're going to leave this here for the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying, and I will see you all next time.